So as you know that practice uh, broken for the one nation one elections. After that, elections got separated, and we have a. a Uh, hello, uh, my name is Sindhu, and today we will discuss uh, the topic One Nation, One Election. As you know, that topic is currently in the discussion, and uh, a lot of uh, thing going on regarding the uh, One Nation, One Elections. As the uh, report is submitted by the high level committee regarding the uh, One Nation, One Election. So uh, today we will discuss. Uh, topic holistically uh, we will see uh, what is one nation one elections what is the history behind one nation one election uh, and uh, also we will see what is the challenges uh, regarding the one nation one elections and uh, all the arguments in favor and all the arguments in against the one nation one elections and uh, then we will conclude the topic so let's start Uh, for uh, the topic one nation one election <coughs> see if we will talk about the one nation one election this is not the new concept or not the alien to the india that uh, it's not a new concept that has uh, suddenly arrived it's a process we already had it and uh, now it's uh, currently in debate so first we will see the meaning that what exactly one nation one election means so one nation one elections means all the elections conducted in our country uh, that will conducted simultaneously like simultaneously uh, election for the lok sabha and the legislative assembly and the municipalities and panchayat so all the election will be conducted in one go uh, it doesn't mean that in one day it means that phase by we can conduct but it means that in a month in in two months we can conduct the elections but it will be conducted in a one year one particular time period that will be decided by the uh, authority like parliament and the election commission so one nation uh, one election one nation means that election that will conducted simultaneously of lok sabha election and legislative assembly election election of panchayat and the municipalities so all the local bodies all the local bodies elections and all the uh, parliament elections and the state legislative elections will be conducted in one go so this is the one nation one elections means and uh, this is uh, very important to synchronize the elections now we will see that history of the one nation one election so see uh, the topic is currently in news and uh, probably it's not a alien topic uh, prob uh, first time uh, when we had a first lok sabha chunav that time we had a, all the elections simultaneously in 1952 after that 1957 all the election conducted simultaneously and 1962 and 1967 so you can see that till fourth lok sabha we had a one nation one elections like all the elections conducted in simultaneous basis so election were synchronized uh, synchronized uh, in the parliament and the state elections conducted at one time fourth after that the practice ended uh, in 1970 so in 1970 so see here in 1968 uh, and 69 a lot of state assembly dissolved prematurely okay due to the you know that time of uh, politicals and uh, all the external factors that led to the uh, dissolutions of the state assembly prematurely and also you know that in 1970 uh, lok sabha uh, elections 
prematurely dissolve and uh, ahead of the schedule uh, 15 months ahead of the schedule election so that's why the practice broken there so as you know that practice uh, broken for the one nation one elections after that elections got separated and we have uh, another elections and uh, we have elections uh, different timing for the different state elections now we will see that uh, these are uh, things that are happening and uh, after that uh, government uh, again decided uh, to go for a one nation one election so this is not the first time that uh, the any recommendations uh, uh, got in the news previously in 19 if you will see that in 1983 ECI election commissions in 1983 already recommended for the one nation one election that after the uh, after uh, all this uh, pattern that cycle has broke in 1970 so in 1983 election commissions has recommended that go for a one nation one election and after that uh, law commission report in 1999 so law commission report also recommend for the uh, in 1999 for one nation one elections and uh, after that you know niti ayog uh, niti ayog also recommended for one nation one elections uh, recently uh, so these are the thing that uh, ongoing recommendations for one nation one election so now we will see that what is the advantage of the one nation one elections and why everyone is saying that one nation uh, one elections uh, will, sh should be good for the country and all these reports uh, are in the favor of one nation one elections so So, if we will see the advantage of one nation, one elections, as you know that, uh, first issue is a financial uh, issue. So, cost efficiency. So, what does mean? What does it means? It means that, as you know that, uh, if the election is conducted frequently, so there is a lot of financial burden on the government. So, uh, a lot of time uh, elections conducted. So. A lot of uh, expenditure made by the government either it's a central government or the state government that's why if the uh, election will be conducted in one uh, go then it will be uh, reduce some expenditures on the election and logistic and the security so as you know that for conducting an election a lot of security forces are deployed to uh, to guard the elections and ensure a free and fair elections so that's why uh, we deploy secu security force and prolonged uh, period for prolonged period uh, security forces all are involved in this one day okay reducing disruption so when we will go for a one nation one elections uh, it will reduce the disruptions in the governance and the development as you know that when uh, the elections is announced in any state or for the parliament elections so model code of conduct is announced by the government so if the model code of conduct is announced by the government there is a policy paralysis according to the uh, experts and all because when model code of conduct is announced they uh, then the government is not allowed to uh, introduce new policy and if there is anything uh, that will uh, give some undue advantage to the voters then that thing will be uh, not allowed during that period so if the any development work is ongoing and anything that will be disrupted that will be stopped for that uh, month or for that uh, season election season so that's why it's necessary to conduct uh, elections in one year in a particular year so that uh, for that time only election will uh, developmental work will be held otherwise that will be go in a smooth manner and uh, governance also so see if 
a lot of thing uh, for the elections so uh, if election is announced then all the administrative officials and all are uh, involved in the elections uh, to conduct uh, election so that's why a lot of important work is get hampered due to this now the voter participations as you know that as you know that uh, so uh, so people uh, believe that the voter participation will enhance if we will opt for a one nation one election so why uh, why uh, everyone believe that the, uh, because that uh, as you know that if the election is conducted simultaneously for the uh, lok sabha for the state assembly and the um, local bodies then people will uh, go for the vote and uh, vote in all the elections but if you will uh, if you are staying out of your uh, city and your town then you won't be able to go uh, in every year and every month to vote uh, for the um, local bodies or go for the vote for the state assembly and the uh, central election so that's why uh, everybody is thinking that vote and turn out will be increased and uh, apart from that uh, there is a lot of this uh, disadvantage also that uh, expert are seeing so we will see that federalism concern so uh, as you know that india is a uh, quasi federal uh, country so why the federalism federalism is concerned here as you know that when uh, central elections is uh, conducted then the central issue the issue that are uh, concerned at the level of our country or in for the whole country is dominate so some people believes that the uh, local issue will be uh, not be uh, that important as the central issue will be important and then the federalism state will be got uh, some uh, concern regarding that logistic challenges as well so see uh, for conducting election in you know, one go it will uh, takes a lot of um, election ma uh, machinery so that a uh, lot of goods and everything so that they will conduct the elections these are also the concern and dominance of the national issue so that will overshadow the local issues and also regional party so this is the main concern that uh, expert and the political pal party believe that it will happen if we will opt for a one nation one election and uh, now we will discuss that <clears throat> now we will discuss that there is one high level committee is formed by the government of india mm. india and committee is established in 2nd september 2023 and uh, this is a eight member committee and committee chaired by the ramnath kovin the former president and special mem <coughs> members amit sah uh, amit sah you know who ministers and uh, nk singh so these are the some special members for the uh, for, for in this uh, committee so as you know that why uh, what this committee uh, recommend to the government so committee recommended committee recommended almost so if you will see the committee committee recommendation committee recommended the uh, very important recommendation we will discuss committee recommended uh, conduct election in two phases so first phase in first phases we will conduct the election of the lok sabha and the election of the uh, election of lok sabha and the legislative assembly and the second in second phase that will be conduct uh, within uh, 100 days of the first elections in 100 within 100 days we will conduct the local bodies 
local word is election so election for the panchayat and the municipality and also committee recommended a lot of uh, almost 15 Uh, amendments to the constitutions as you know that we have already a constitutional provision for the elections so uh, a lot of constitutional amendment will need to uh, alter the uh, to adopt the simultaneous elections so if we will see the first uh, uh, how many uh, some articles that that will be amended that will be the article 882 article 83 mm, these will be the some article that will be uh, altered due to the uh, due to the adoptions of the simultaneous elections article 324 a and uh, 324 uh, that will be that is the power of the election commissions to conduct a election of the uh, parliament uh, state legislative assembly elections president election vice president elections uh, so uh, these power to uh, so for uh, including the local bodies also the, uh, these article will be uh, amended and so that we will include the local bodies election as well and article 325 that will also be included in uh, amended if for this for the adoptions of the article uh, for the adoption of the simultaneous election so why article 325 article 325 that uh, almost say that um, nobody will be is excluded from the electoral electoral rule so here uh, recommendation is to include the single role for all the elections so a single uh, role for uh, photo id identity card for all the voters and a single role for the uh, state assembly and the local bodies and the parliament elections so these are the some important uh, uh, amendments that needs to be done uh, to for adopt a simultaneous elections so as you uh, we have seen so far and now we will see the challenges so some challenges we have discussed that constitu- constitutional and legal issues that amendments required okay regional autonomy that are uh, the main concern of the state party and the political party that uh, regional autonomy uh, loses the flexibility okay and logistic issue as you know that uh, a lot of uh, a lot of area where uh, where the logistics issue will be arise so these are the challenges so what should be the way uh, forward what should be the way forward for the so one nation one elections addressing the challenge it will require a political and strategic reform so f- how we will uh, proceed uh, to the one nation one election simultaneous elections first we need to amend the uh, constitutions and alter the uh, constitutions uh, that is needed so almost 15 amendment uh, will needed and after that uh, after uh, the constitutional amendment political will and to, to adopt the elections and also we need to educate our voters also uh, that uh, how to go for a uh, simultaneous elections how to vote at the sh- uh, same time for the is- in center and the state and the local bodies so these will uh, show voter awareness will be needed and um, so we need to educate the voters as well so these are the thing that is related to one nation in one election we had a brief discussion about one nation one election you can read about it uh, go for the committee recommendations as well and all, all the newspaper editorial so that uh, you will have some holistic idea about the uh, topic because see uh, these topic are uh, currently in news and it's a very important topic and uh, as a aspirant you should be aware about the topic that are ongoing in the discussion and also be a informed citizen so for being a informed citizen also you should know the topic very well thank you